Okay, welcome back everybody to Coffee and Art in the Morning. I'm Dee Dee. This is a live show on Ustream. And uh, so if you're watching a recording on YouTube, I'm talking to live people. Mostly live and awake. <clears throat> Okay, so anyway, um, this is a, uh, we just got done working on the, I got a new art scroll, so started out with a couple of quick sketches, didn't like those, ended up with this little chihuahua here, so um, I'll post pictures on Twitter somewhere later, they're just, you know, little sketches, then we did this one here, did the little white dog, then we did the little pug. Everybody loves a pug. <laughs> and that's all I have in this um, this scroll so far. And all these are, guys, it's just a roll of shipping paper. It's like craft color shipping paper. It's great for sketching on and using acrylic paint. Uh, we've done many scrolls here. I'm going to show you. I'm not going to go through all of them. I'll just kind of try to scroll, you know, like unravel them a little bit to show you some things. But um, we've done a lot of scrolls here. So this is the newest one. Let me just put this one aside and show you. We've done a lot of scrolls here. So we have lots of scrolls here <laughs> in different sizes. Some are the 30 inch long, some I've cut in half. So we have a lot of scrolls here in bits and parts. Some are trimmed. These two are, are trimmed down. So, um, yeah. I don't even know what this one is. I think that one's just, this one's just actually my actual wrapping paper. <laughs> this one's my actual shipping paper. Okay, so let me move all the scrolls off here. And we'll show a few things we've done. And what I would like to do is go ahead and work, pull out some prompts out of the prompt jar. So let's just see what we have here. Okay, this one I think I've cut up. There's been a few times where I wanted the uh, the drawing or the sketch out of the middle of the scroll, so I have cut a couple of them up. So all right, this one is our prompt jar when we've done prompts in, and it's going the wrong way. So, but let me just I'm going to roll it up. And I'm going to I'm going to unscroll. We did a little calligraphy prompt. This is stuff we pulled out of the jar. Okay, we did some. How to, how to use, uh, take your art you've drawn and make a tracing of it to reuse. So we did some big numbers here. Some, uh, this is, again, this was all stuff, guys, out of the prompt jar. So it's just kind of a hodgepodge of all kinds of things. And some calligraphy. Oh, see, this is, must have been where I cut, cut it because that's where that one ends. Okay, so let me let me separate the ones that I show, and then this is the other half of that one. So it's this one drew a couple of fairies from a color book, did a tape transfer, some more calligraphy, drew some bugs and made some collagey things. All of this is stuff we just pulled out of the prompt jar and did something with. So it's not really going to mean anything. <laughs> okay, okay, Carrie, thank you. And then let's see. So I'm just going to kind of, I don't even remember which is in which. So let's just try to roll it to the beginning here. Again, different bits where I've cut apart. Oh, okay. This one was, I think, one of our first uh, art scrolls. And again, guys, I'm not zoomed in because I'm going to be working on a big sheet of paper. So we'll kind of zoom in and out as we, as we go. Thanks, guys. Okay, so... You know, we just did some uh, color sketches and color ideas. This one was not out of the prompt jar, I don't think. I think, well, maybe it was. I don't know. Um, so we just have drawn a little bit of everything with an eagle. These are from 2015. They're not that long. Well, maybe this isn't the oldest one then. A little emu. Some clouds. Wind. Did some uh, hummingbirds with some pink and blue clouds. Did a little deer, some little deer studies. And then this is where I cut it off here because I wanted something out of the middle. But just some little deer sketches here. And then, what else? I don't want these rubber bands on my wrist. Let's see what's in this one. This is my cut papers. I think these, okay, this was leftovers, and I cut them down. I don't think there's anything in here. 
these are uh, cut pay. Oh no, there is something in here. Okay, never mind. There's Mimi. <laughs> There's Mimi, our um, alligator. Um. Uh, yeah, this is one of those things when we take a prom and everybody helps pitch in. And we named her Mimi. Well, I won't get into the whole story right now. But anyway, there's Mimi. Um, there's another little alligator sketch. So we'll just sketch and write notes. And when people mention something, we'll take notes down. <laughs> and uh, we even drew a yoo-hoo. We made notes on... Um, there's so, Oh, here. No, that's a golf guy. But anyway, there's something where we had somebody writing on a yoo-hoo. Um... This is some um, stamping with the foamy, the kind of foam you heat up and, it, and press, like we pressed onto some buttons. And then did that. Quick selfie. Um, we did some uh, ladybugs with thumbprint ladybugs. Here's some impromptu notes, faces. And melted crayons and this is the only thing that's gone through that's a melted crayon that went through these are little white um, punches from a from your hole puncher some folded paper more tape transfer stuff and that's all on this one let's see what else we got here must have cut into the middle oh yeah okay cut this out for whatever reason there's a little um, quail and somehow we have Marlon Perkins of Mutual Omaha Wild Kingdom noted here. And then what we did is these are cutouts from the cameo. <laughs> anyway, so there's a little quail sketch. Mimi. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Let's see what else is in here. Oh, okay. Oh, we have all kinds of things in here. I don't know if I cut these up for They must have been something in the middle I wanted. There's some little goldfish. What else is in here? Here's a... Uh, oh, we wanted to do feathers as a... T the feather tail as meteor shooting stars. So we had notes. So when we're doing this, and, and when thing, people say things, we think of things, we write them down. Here's a cardinal... Nightcrawler. It's, this is going to be one of those things where you had to be there, I think. A Nightcrawler speech bubble. Oh, he's got a bathrobe on. Goldfish slippers. <laughs> a cardinal with a bathrobe. I don't know, guys. I don't even I'm afraid to ask. What else do we have in here? More sketches. And then these are just... Oh, wait. No, there's a couple of... These are... Maybe we'll use these because they're... They're not, they're cut up into squares already. That would be easy. What else is in here? Another, oh, Eileen, E-T-E, Pixie on a Flamingo, Be Afraid. This guy's, we wrote comb over. Bald Eagle Professor, Ben Franklin, Professor Avian, RV Sweet said that. Pocket Watch, Fob. So we have all kinds of little notes there. We had a plan for him. We did have a plan for him. Okay, what's this one? This one was a pelican pouch for craft stuff. There's boots, heavy chunky, floral boots, ra rubber rain boots, pink combat boots. Uh, stars and, oh yeah, he was going to have, this weird bird is going to have antenna. Where you could uh, pick up signals there. It's a loon. Or a mar Oh, Doc Martin boots. <laughs> I know, guys, right? Uh, and then this one, let's see what we have. Hornithology. Owl. Hornithologist. I guess an owl, studies of owls are a hornithologist. Pixie hollow. Bird elements of different something. Oh, and have springy coils. Boing, boing. <laughs> she, she had some kind of a bathing suit on or something. Okay, so there's those. I don't know, guys. Like I said, I don't remember what all we had here. Let's see if I can get all these together. Alright, what else do we have? Alright. Alright, this 
this one, I think it's the leftovers of an egg. And this one I don't think has anything in it. Oh, here's where we drew the lizard a couple of, well, maybe, what, about a month ago? We just did kind of a partial study. The Lizard of Oz. Oh, and then this one we did a couple weeks ago, too. We did the blue frog with color studies on the blue frog. Uh, some of them could have been for my animal posters, uh, Sherry, which yeah, I haven't done any new ones of those in I don't know how long. Okay, so this one, all right, this one did have a bunch of our animals on. Oh, there's, <laughs> there's a vampire pie. Okay, we'll look we'll at this place. That one's empty. Yeah, that one's empty too. Okay, so this is the last one. Okay, so we did. There's the Franken giraffe or Franken Franken raff. Franken raff is what we call them. <laughs> uh, and then there's the um, Count Pugula. We did him with the red eyes. So there's. Count Pugula. <laughs> uh, what did he get to with my paper? <laughs> and then we have some notes here on how to mind map different lists. And then here's uh, some of the sea creatures we've done. I say we because y'all were here when we've done them. There's a turtle. And again, guys, I'm sorry. It's really flashing out. I, I mean, I know I'm trying to keep the camera... You know, if we're close, if we're far, trying to keep it so it's showing everything right. There's some sketches of some turtles, more sketches and studies. And then there's some, some gold, I mean, um, clownfish, somewhere from when you had a power outage and sketched the frogs. Yes, yeah, some things I did outside when I had the power outage. Yeah, I got a whole stack of blue sketches. I sketched just on white paper, but that's my own personal sketches. Um, they don't show up on camera for you guys. You know, I try to do stuff in paint and stuff so that it shows up. Here is our big peacock studies. We did studies of all the different kind of feathers and the head. And then we, at the last moment, we did the foot. And because I wanted to get all the different parts of the peacock in, and we're running out of time, and I had wrote this peacock did not defeat me. <laughs> oh, so anyway, guys, I'm just going to kind of scroll through some of the things we've drawn. There's um, Pedro. It's my version of Pedro. He's big. He's big. Look how big he is, guys. I mean, <laughs> he's a big, he's a big one. Uh-oh, uh I'm catching up my pins. Oh, my brushes are rolling up inside here. <laughs> Um, wow, what else is in here? A little panda. I thought that was going to be a zombie seahorse. <laughs> it could be, Vicki. It could be. We use Count Pugula as our corner bartender at night, yes. <laughs> and then here's some slow lorries. I, this is one the, at the beginning of the scroll here. I was going to do it this way, but there was not room on my table, so that's when... After this set of uh, slow lorries, then we turn the, the scroll going this way. So I think that's all I got right this moment. But those things take up a lot of room. I need to roll them all up into one. So I have a couple sheets here, three or four sheets of cut paper left. And um, we'll see what we can do with these. With the Now, again, I reserve the right not to use glitter. Uh staples uh, you know. uh so let me take a sip of coffee so anyway this is a prompt jar and it's a mixed media prompt jar i'll say that so there could be use metal there could be use a staple use brads use glitter there's all kinds of things in here 
So I don't know. You know, we'll see. This is how it works. We don't we don't know what we're gonna pick. And what I do is I don't necessarily. I mean, if I picked out uh, staple something, I might draw the stapler. Okay. So <laughs> it's up to me what I do with the prompt. So I know y'all chime in, and that's fine, because if y'all say, you know, put some horns on it, you know, we might, you know. But at the same time, um, I, you know, I'm probably not going to do a lot of, uh, you know, I'm not going to get out the Martha Stewart glitter and glue and things like that. So we'll see what happens. And this is just an old prompt jar from, what, two, three years ago? There's plenty of prompts out there. You can make a prompt jar, or you can just find a... You know, something like we could you, we could use Jake Parker's, uh, you know, I mean, not Jake Parker. Um, that's Inktober. Um, who's Terry's boyfriend? <laughs> <laughs> the Artie Party app. <laughs> Sorry, Terry, I couldn't resist. Terry, Terry has a crush. <laughs> Anyway, we'll get, we'll get off of that. So, uh, <laughs> sorry, you guys, now my eyes are watering from laughing. <laughs> mm. <laughs> All right, so I have a, a little baggie with the ones that we've used already, so we didn't reuse them. So let me poke that one back in there. So we didn't. So we don't reuse the same ones. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so we'll just see what we pull out so oh anyway so these are um these were uh at G one of the days at gene stream everybody just pop popped in and um said something for the and i'm reading chat <laughs> yeah 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 <laughs> uh uh okay i'm reading chat and i'm getting distracted um so everybody just gave every you know a list of prompts and then one of the girls wrote them all down and i printed them out and i pulled and anyway okay so let's just see what we get here all right so let's see what this says use a piece of junk mail use a piece of junk mail see again we almost would get into collaging I'm not sure I really want to get into collaging. <laughs> let me show y'all because I know <laughs> it's. Um, hang on, guys. Let me let me get back to my thing here. Jazz's arty party. Okay, let's see here. Let me bring it up so that y'all come on. Okay, so Jazz's Jazz's arty games, and they have the prompts in the in there. It's a it's an app. And uh, so anyway, yeah, Terry likes Jazza. <laughs> okay, so use a piece of junk mail. So again, this would almost get into some collaging. Oh, and speaking of collaging, I did, where is it? Top I did put two coats of varnish on this journal that I did last week, or was it Monday? I lose track of time, guys. It's a constant art here. So I forget <laughs> what day I did what on because, you know, if I stream two or three times a week and then I'm arting all the rest of the time, I forget what day I did what on, you know. So anyway, but I did put another coat of varnish on the front and back of this. Uh, I still have not uh, painted the strap black yet, a prompt jar just for these pictures. We could, you know what, Kathy, that might be a good idea. It'll take a little while if y'all want to do a prompt jar for But, you know, there's so many out there already. I don't know if we need, I mean, y'all would come up with some good ideas. I know that. Yes, Terry loves Jazz's accent, said by Terry. <laughs> so then what I did is I did the front cover. Remember, I told you I was going to do the, the first cardboard page in here. So I did this page. And varnished it because that's kind of really like the cover you know that's actually the actual cover to the journal and I did paint the edges gold thanks guys so yeah so I did do that and I put varnish on it as well so that's the inside front cover and this is just one of the Dinah Reevely uh, dilutions journals 
and this was sh I did a video on that the cut this and this is under a mixed media art journal covers for the covers I did not film this I just did this in my spare time <sighs> okay so I'm gonna be tripping over those so anyway what I'm saying is, is this almost reminds me of doing something with collage I don't know if I really want to do collage today so I think I'm gonna pass on this uh, because I don't feel like gluing I'd rather draw really I want to draw some stuff because that's what we're doing today so I'm gonna find something else to draw let's do a prom jar I don't have one yet new fresh ideas all right if y'all I'll tell you what we'll do we will spend exactly let, wait let me get something right here. we will spend 10 minutes making a new prom jar 10 minutes let me find my sharpie all right let's make some ground rules here let's make some ground rules okay so new prompt I want this to be for let's do it for do y'all want to do it for drawing because in here guys I'm telling you you don't know how many already mixed media things we have in here already you know okay new prompt jar prompts <laughs> okay everybody grab paper <laughs> little peek goes, let me grab some paper grab some paper we'll spend a few minutes doing this okay all right so let's make some ground rules first what kind of prompt jar do you want this to be just for drawing Vicki says but how many of y'all are going to use it you have to use it I mean I'll use it I know I'll use it drawing and painting okay so we'll have for drawing sketching drawing sketching painting does that sound good because we can make other one we can make other ones for whatever okay <laughs> I got the little thing in the corner Terry we'll go pretty you know 10 minutes um it, from Bryn fluffy Bryn has it on her uh, I don't have a link so I don't have a link guys somebody here may have one but I don't have a link <clears throat> drawing painting and coloring okay yeah that would be good because we're all doing coloring now so if we drew something to color that would be good yeah well you can draw with ink yeah inking drawing with ink yeah I think that kind of covers it you know drawing with whatever medium you want to use okay yes write it down because I'm not going to post this anywhere <laughs> You'll have to just kind of, you know, write it, pause the video or whatever. All right. Now, let's do it this way. Person. And that can be any, you know, any kind of people or, you know, um, or living thing. Okay. I'm going to do this because this is kind of how I, ha I organize my, uh, this is kind of how I organize my idea journal, my idea notebook. Okay, place, and that can be anything from a any kind of building, it can be any kind of a building, it can be a country, it can be anything, right? All right, person, place, and a thing. So this is anything, anything that's a that's not a person or a place. All right, anything else? I mean, it could be mineral, vegetable, whatever, vegetable, mineral. Uh, anything anything okay now let me read chat fast mini drawing the last picture you took on your phone yeah and, and again guys if y'all want something similar to this Jazz's Jazz's prompt app is only I think it's $2.99 and it's got tons of stuff like this it's got tons of mix it up you know we just have always written it down in the idea notebook <laughs> but there's apps out there now for it I'm telling you um I I used to do Queenie, I used to do uh, uh all about you collages years ago, but I haven't done those for a long time where we would do collages of people. Okay. 
Let's do this. All right, so hang on. I'm going to make, let's, uh, hang on, because it's going to be, I'm going to write fast. And you can do actions, too. I mean, you can, like Jazza has uh, doing, um, you know, what was that one that we drew? I drew a few. Here, I'll show you the few I drew. Hang on, guys. Back a while back in the really freestyle, really big notebook. <laughs> Hang on, guys. Don't, don't go yet. You draw. Seriously. Seriously. Let's do it again. It's great to put it. Yes, put this in your idea notebook. Exactly, Stacks. Okay, so wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait for it. Let's see. Where's, where did I do those? They're toward the back. Did I put them in the back? Where's my Jazza? Here. Here they are. Okay. So he has scribble challenges, color challenge, copy challenges, environmental challenges. He's got a lot of these things. We don't really need to do this, guys, but it's kind of fun because we're all here and we're going to just do it together. <laughs> yes, put this in your eye. If this is the kind of idea notebook you have, I just happen to use three ring binders, but this is, I use this for sketching in and, and you know, on the go ideas. Um, so anyway, like he had combined purple Cadillac with the atomic symbol. So I did a couple different things there. Here is, uh, I'll show you a couple of my favorite ones. Combine a sword and a tape dispenser. So I thought that would be a cool thing to put your a little sword on. You use the blade to cut the tape. Not for kids. Uh, what else? Oh, no, this, these, this one. Oh, here's my other tape dispenser. A gun with a tape dispenser. <laughs> and you just pull the trigger and the tape comes out. And then you have a little serrated edge on the end of the barrel and you just snap your tape. <laughs> oh, and the soccer ball with pliers. So a pair of pliers with that plastic soccer ball material on it right there. I, I love that idea. <laughs> but anyway, what I was going to say is the, Jazz has got awesome ones. So if you don't want to write these down or play along with ours, Jazz's are awesome. You know? Okay. Um, okay, so let's put this prompt jar over to the side. <laughs> All righty, we got we got to play too, guys. We got to paint something, but all right. So let's see how we're gonna do this. We will spend let's spend like we'll spend five minutes on each one. Okay, I'll watch the time up here, and I'll do it about you know. It doesn't have to be like you know. I'm gonna have a buzzer go off. I could set my phone for that. But uh, <laughs> so I thought maybe we could spend. Those were fun sketches. A sword dispenser. You like that one? <laughs> Ah, Vicky. Uh, <laughs> yeah, no, we're, we're, you can do anything. We can draw anything. Yeah, there's no no judging here yet. We all are all, yeah, okay. Okay, so what we're going to do is I, and now remember, guys, I've got to write and read. So if I miss something you say, which I probably will, I'm going to have to kind of stop and scroll back because y'all are going to be able to type, you know, 78 of you are going to be able to type faster than I'm going to be able to write. <laughs> so I'm going to just, let's just put it this way. I'm going to grab as many as I can. If I miss yours, it's not because I don't want to write it down. It's because I literally cannot write as fast. This may be a bust here, guys. This may be a fail because I don't know. All right. So what we're going to do is let's start with people... And I'm not going to give you all any hints of how I organize mine. Because I have a lot of this stuff in my idea journal, right? My idea notebook. Uh, but y'all wanted to make your own. Okay. So we'll start for, uh, we'll do uh, pe people or any kind of living thing. It could be people or animals. Okay. Um, uh, it could be bugs. It could be birds. It could be anything. Okay. So, yeah, don't email me if my idea gets missed. Exactly, Vicki. I'm going to just, here's, because what I want to do is I want to show you how we can combine things. So even though we're going to miss a lot, I'm going to write down as many as I can. And what we're going to do is we're going to take from each column and combine and make something. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, wrong thing, Terry. Okay, so everybody, tell me something alive. 
a lot. Okay, I see a snail. I'm gonna. I'm not gonna. I'm just gonna write as fast as I can. So go ahead. We're doing people. Uh, anything live. Anything living. Not vegetables. Not vegetables, guys. Keep it with, you know, bugs, people. Okay, so we had Willy Wonka, a frog. And I'm not even gonna look at my paper. I'm only gonna look at my paper in the in the screen, so I can try to uh, keep my eyes on the. Beetle. Okay, a lamp is not a living thing. Okay, a kangaroo. Hold that one for the next column, Queenie. <laughs> Owl. Tarantula. Alien. Vampire. Goat. Tree. Zombie. Dragonfly. Keep it coming, guys. Am I actually writing faster than you guys? Old man. That's a good one, Queenie. Old man. Ladybugs. Salamander. Billy the Kid. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's hilarious. <laughs> great, great grandmother with baby. Great, great grand with baby a snake unicorn I'm not playing I'm a mod you can play Terry uh, Doc Holiday <laughs> Harry Potter bed bugs oh my gosh ah, Spock Oh my gosh, guys, get it. Y'all are getting into, are y'all getting into Halloween mode? Goldfish. Your dog. A fairy. Gypsy. Keep going. Baseball manager, Terry. <laughs> You're out. <laughs> Not you, Terry. <laughs> okay, Thumbelina. <laughs> Y'all are so cute. Horse. Butterfly. I want to show y'all how you, you combine these, though. This is the thing. Mary Poppins. An eyeball. A nose. Jack Nicholson. <laughs> A uh, leopard and a gecko. Baby holding an apple. Okay, well, don't get so don't get so much Judy Patootie. You're getting too much detail. Give me one word. A kitten. <laughs> I got butterfly. Marky Mark. <laughs> Hockey goal. <laughs> no, that's not something alive. Kathy. Oh, a goalie. Okay, a goalie. I was going to say, a hockey goal is not... <laughs> Wolf Blitzer. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> a lumberjack. A stray dog. I'm going to give you all homework. Oh, you think you're getting away with this? Oh, you're getting homework, people. You're getting homework. A dog catcher. <laughs> yeah. Big bird. <laughs> Goblin and a gnome. A genome. <laughs> yeah, wolf is alive. Wolf Blitzer is alive. <laughs> Terry's rubbing off on you. An overwhelmed mailman. Well, we can put the mailman. Okay, a mailman. Is that speak? A ferret. I'm not sure how you spell a ferret. Is that right? Yeah. A cabin. Margaret. <laughs> what did I say? This was a wolf? I missed something there. Okay, a cowboy. <laughs> a big. T Come on, guys. A big toe's not alive. Well. It may, you may or may, that's kind of on the fence. Yes, imagination. 
uh, a cabana boy. Oh, okay, all right. Now let's let's keep the let's keep the uh, cougars at bay. <laughs> there goes Janet with a hunky UPS guy. Oh my gosh, you girls, a stingray, <laughs> a miner. <laughs> no, Eileen, I'm not writing that one down. <laughs> But we could write Eileen the Enabler Elf. We'll have an elf. Okay. I'm not writing that down, Eileen. A cat herder. I actually have a, I actually did a, a cartoon of a cat herder years ago. <laughs> a grapevine. Oh, well, no, let's keep the, let's keep the vegetables and stuff on the thing. Okay. Yeah, we're just going to do people and fish and, and animals. <laughs> A cat and a cat herder, a dolphin and a cougar. Yeah, we'll we'll have to all draw Terry and Janet. <laughs> all right, one more page and then we're gonna stop. One more page. I mean, one more list. Okay, a dragon. Okay, come on, girls. Old mailman, earthworm. Y'all have a lot of things on bugs. What what is that? What is that? A T-Rex? Okay. What is it with the bugs? Come on, guys. A mermaid. <clears throat> a wasp or a bee. Yeah, a wasp or a bee. Got Big Bird already, Miss Kim. We got Big Bird. James. Hi, James. Hi, James. We said we got ferret. We got baby. Yeah, we have a baby. We got worm. Yeah, I mean, really, guys, that's about the tenth time I've seen worms. <laughs> Look, every kind of worm. Okay, an angel and a demon. Okay, um, lightning bug, squirrel. Got an alien already, guys. We already got an alien. Judge Judy. <laughs> Uh, oh, Judge, Judge, Judy, a cricket, got fairy, got, all right, a mouse, <laughs> no, it's okay, I don't care if y'all repeat, I'll just, I'm just saying, but there's a lot of worms, what is that, hi, James, hi, James, Sarah's, a uh-oh, I don't know, let's put flamingo I, I can promise you it probably won't be pink. Flamingo. <laughs> Elephants. Rooster and a griffin. Okay, we're out of room. Rooster and a griffin. Okay, that's it. All right, hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Beep, 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 beep. Okay. So now we got that column. Hang on, guys. And y'all can do this for yourself. Y'all have seen me do this in the in the notebook. Y'all have seen me do this in the notebook. Okay. Now, if you do this yourself, you'll see we're gonna we're gonna get we're gonna get ideas. This is an this is idea day. Okay. All right. We're gonna do ideas after we do this. Okay. No clowns. It's a clown-free zone. I'm sorry, Lane. Sorry, it's a clown-free, and technically it's a flamingo-free zone, too. We got a couple of issues with a couple people. <laughs> Just saying. We usually don't do anything with flamingos or clowns. Okay, now, now think, now get your thinking caps on. Places can be anything. It can be a building. It could be a meadow. Okay? It can be anything. Any place. It could be a planet. Now, don't give me Mars, Saturn, Jupiter, you know, just, just a planet, okay? <laughs> uh, I'll, I'll read them again. I'll read them again, guys, okay? I will reread the ones I got if you want me to. Okay, yes. And, and, and Vicki in, in uh, Louisiana says no flying cockroaches either, right? Okay. Okay, as I say cockroaches, cockroaches, oh no cockroaches, okay, outer space, okay, come on guys, until we run out of room, 
<laughs> yes, it's a clown free zone. Okay, a swamp. See, we're on the ball now. The space needle. A waterfall. I'll reread them for you guys. Space station. Avalon. Campground. Amsterdam. And you know there's tons of books out there too, right? Doing all this. I think I have the three, 600 and something places to draw. Wrigley Field. A valley. Inside an ice box. How about I just write inside a box. Candlestick Park. I'll show you that book in a minute. Mountains when we get done with this. Because there's tons of places to find these kinds of things. Guys. We're not making this up. A bog. It's kind of like a swamp, isn't it? I'll write it down anyway. School. Library. Parking lot. A zoo. Labyrinth. 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 Sand sandwich. A sandwich? You mean a sandwich shop? Or you want... <laughs> Backyard. Rabbit hole. These are some good ones. A place, a bathtub. Okay, Car Carrie's taking a bath. <laughs> the Old West. That's a good one. Old West. Good one. And hey, Carla, by the way. Grocery store. Cornfield tree house. Okay, wait. Tree house. Cornfield. I'm trying, guys. Michaels. <laughs> well, we could say craft store. Uh, a cave. Good one. Cave. An Irish pub. A fish tank. Although that could, con well, if you're in the fish tank, I guess it could be a place. <laughs> Atlantis. Amazon Shopping Center. <laughs> Volcano. An outhouse. Oh my gosh, Lindsay. An outhouse. Middle Earth. <laughs> Old West Saloon. Hogwarts. Statue of Liberty. A cove. Yeah, we've got library and a car in car. Got volcano. Potted inside potted plants. Really, Suzanne? <laughs> a water garden. <laughs> Wait till we get to things. Okay. We're right now we're places. We got spacecraft. Okay, a maze, a greenhouse. This is places, guys. Places. Got a spacecraft, Fantasy Island. Snow, uh, in the snow, a snow scene, yeah. Got school, Japanese garden. Netherworld. Grand Canyon. A pagoda, a casino, we got a labyrinth, porch, a back porch, boardwalk. If you're watching this show on recording, don't email me. <laughs> uh, yeah, we got Hogwarts, waterfall, a graveyard. <laughs> Ferris wheel, that's a good one. If you're the, on it. I mean, we're talking about a play, so. Okay, let's see. Um, oh, I missed Graveyard. Yeah, so Vicky, it's okay. If I miss it, then that's fine. I mean, you can repeat. I just, I'm only going to write it down once, but I mean, yeah. Just exhausted, moving truck. Oh, okay. Well, chill. Chill, Suzanne. A baseball dugout. 
a tower, a lighthouse. See how creative you guys are? A factory. One more row. One more row. A medieval tower. Tower. A hoarder's house. Oh, gee. Remember, y'all are going to get homework. <laughs> a nebula. We said space, but I'll write nebula. A stairway. A, a field. I think we said a field. Could it, be, it could be a, a, a sugar. She said sugar cane. A cane. It could be a corn. Any kind of field. Okay. Center of Earth. A garage and a swimming pool. A garage, swimming pool. Ocean. Bedroom. Coffee shop. Takes all these brains. <laughs> we can't do this on our own, right, Terry? <laughs> a tulip field. Okay, let's just write flower field up here. Flower. A sleeper cab of a semi truck. Oh my gosh, Miss Kim. <laughs> okay, a truck cab. Um, 18 wheeler truck cab. Janet's Amazon box, Jurassic Park. <laughs> I'm sick. I can't spell Jurassic Park. <laughs> A bird's nest. All right, want two more. Let me grab two more. A camper. Okay, a skyscraper. Okay, I'm. I, all right, that's all. That's all I got room for. Okay, now we got to do the same thing with things. Okay? All right, let's get your thing cap on. Let's get your thinking cap. Okay, I got to move my chair sideways. I'm I'm getting up working up a a glisten, a, a thinking cap. I'm working up a glisten here. <laughs> okay, now we're done with thing, I mean places. Now we're going into Taurus. <laughs> okay. Oh my gosh. Okay. Let's do things. Things. A puddle. Okay, that's good. And it could be a vegetable. But don't know. Just because I said vegetable, don't just name me off all vegetables. I mean, you can do whatever you want. But okay. A gavel. Okay. Yes. You all got Judge Judy on your mind. My favorite Judge Judy saying, beauty fades, dumb is forever. <laughs> I love that. Okay. All right. Now, a pumpkin patch would probably be a place. But we can go pumpkin. Okay. I now want things, not places. Things. A telephone. Crystals. Oh, my back just started itching. <laughs> Crystals. Baseball bat. Tree trunk. A pizza. Crochet hook. Are y'all looking at what you got in your hand at the moment? <laughs> okay, Vicky, a Bible, a wave, fortune teller, crystal ball. I'll just write crystal ball. I know, you know crystal ball. Quilt. Lucifer's teeth. What are you reading, Stax? <laughs> I'll write false teeth. <laughs> How about that? <laughs> I don't know. Well, okay. I'll put Lucifer's teeth. That's Stax talking. We ought, we need to worry about her. <laughs> we all need we all need to worry about her. <laughs> horns. Okay. Maleficent's Maleficent's horns. Okay. Let me just write horns. A wand. A diamond. <laughs> a coffee cup. <laughs> uh, the um, Converse shoes, I call them Chucks, Converse shoes, 
I call them Converse. A, an emu egg. Shoelaces, shoes, and laces. I'll put both. Um, a candle with a flickering light. A candle, a bird cage. <clears throat> Lipstick. Again, guys, if you don't hear me call it out and I miss it, you can put it again. Okay, a dollhouse. A ruby, ruby, roll, oh, roller skates, roller skates. A crown. A paintbrush. A gremlin. Well, that's kind of, a gremlin would be kind of a person, wouldn't it? A torch. Heels, a thimble, a dog bone, a jar of pencils, a pine cone, a jar of pencils, a basket, a fan, a balloon, a box of books. Sword, oven mitt. What's that? What's an oven mitt? What's a spatula? A spatula? What's that? A ship. <laughs> Beehive hairdo. Oh my gosh. Beehive hair. A coffin. Sharknado. <laughs> How about just a shark? A shark. <laughs> that would actually probably go under. That would go under a, a person. Uh, a peg leg. A computer mouse. Underwear. You can read your own writing. <laughs> Can't read your own writing. A mailbox. A pirate, I think I said ship, so you can make it a pirate ship if you want. A whoopee cushion, oh good grief, Lindsay. <laughs> a rainbow. <laughs> a grilled cheese. <laughs> oh my gosh, Judy, but Judy, I said I got birdcage. A goblet. <laughs> Y'all got some, y'all got some storytelling on your mind. Magnifying glass. Okay, one more row. One more row. Glasses. Okay, eyeglasses. Sunglasses. A UFO. Toilet paper. Okay, well, we got, we got the, we're starting to get preppers now. Preppers have shown up. <laughs> a coffee, coffee pot or mug. Let's put that coffee pot and mug. Shooting star. Flavor beans. A stone bridge. A parasol or umbrella. Par parasol umbrella. A bike. The Batmobile. A baby stroller. A teacup. A spoon. About three more guys. That's all I can fit in there. American flag. Motorcycle. Dolls. One more. And a sock monkey. We end it with a sock monkey. <laughs> okay, we're gonna end it with the sock monkey. Okay, now.
Now you can number them if you really want to, you know, make sure you have random random things. But here's here's the here's how I'm I'm thinking we're gonna do this. All right, let, I'll reread them first, okay? It's gonna take me a minute. Do y'all want me to reread them or did you hear me when I said them out loud? Do I need to reread them? I don't think I need to reread them because I said them. I said each one as I was writing it down. So I don't think I need to write them down. Okay? I mean reread them because I said them as I was doing it. So here's what you got to do. Now I want, I want y'all to do this too. I want y'all to pick a number. For, not, not now. Don't write a number down. Don't, get, don't give me a number yet. <laughs> oh my gosh. For yourself. This is your homework. Okay, right now, let me see how many I got. Hang on. One, two, three, four, about 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65. I'm guessing here, guys, 70, 75, 80. We have about, let's just say about 80. There's about 80 in each column. Give or take. If you pick a number and there's not 80 of them, pick another number. Okay, so what you're going to do for your homework right now, before we do anything else, before we do anything else, right now on for yourself, for yourself, write down a number between 1 and 80. Not Don't post one. Write one down for yourself. Write a number down between 1 and 80 for yourself. Okay, I'm going to pick, I'm going to pick 42. But you pick whatever number you want, okay? This is your homework. Oh, Terry, good grief. Such trouble, Terry. <laughs> right now, just write it down. Don't tell me what it is. Yes, please don't post them. Exactly, Vicky. Because, oh, God, don't post them. Please don't post them. You write down your own number between 1 and 80, okay? And, and again, guys, it doesn't even have to be, it doesn't have to be my list. Whatever you wrote down. Or if you go back and write and just make your own list. It doesn't, it's not the exact list that's going to matter here. Get that, get that in your head. It's not my exact list that's going to matter. Okay? Maybe I should know. Okay. Everybody's going to go, oh my gosh. Okay. It's going to get confusing. If I, I, I don't want to make it so specific, guys. Okay? I don't want to make it so specific. Just write down a number of from your three, you know, from 1 to 80 for your three lists. Because I'm going to show you how it's going to work. So I picked the number 42. Okay? For now, this is, you mix it up. Every number is going to be different. You could pick one number from each list. You could pick a 5, 10, 15. You know? So let's just say I pick 5, 10, and 15. So that would be one, two, three, four, five. A kangaroo. Ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Amsterdam. And fifteen. One, oh, one, two. No, that's, that's seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifty. And a quilt. Okay? So that would just, you can pick your numbers however random you want. Or I could have just said the 40, number 42 out of each one. Or number, you know, 30 out of each one. 30, 30, 30. It, it doesn't matter. It's just, it's just random. If the idea is random, guys. If you want to do this, if you want to number each one. I'm not going to name all. I'm not going to number all the sheets. I'm just going to do this first one. Okay. So I have 11 on this first sheet. 11 of each. Okay. <laughs> Brooks already ate your homework. <laughs> you don't have to turn anything in, guys. I just want to see if you'll do it. I just want you to do it. You don't have to you don't have to post nothing. Don't mail it to me. Don't email me pictures. 
Don't message me. <laughs> Guys, it's just for fun. It's for you to get some ideas. <laughs> She cracked me up. So that is how you just randomly pick them. You can pick like the sixth one, an owl, waterfall, and a telephone. You can do that. Or you can just like do, you know, 5, 10, or 15, or 10, 20, 30, whatever. Just in your head, pick three numbers or pick one number. So like I said, this could be an owl, a waterfall, and a telephone. Now, if you're a writer, you can write stories about them. Just think for a second, guys. This is how you use your imagination. Okay? <laughs> I'm trying to teach you something. I'm trying to teach you something. Okay. Bye, Colleen. Colleen's running out the back door. Back door. <laughs> Colleen, here's a door. Colleen, running out the back door. <laughs> Colleen, running out the back door. <laughs> yeah, well, or you know, you have a palm jar. We have that too. You know, cut all these up. If y'all would rather do that. You know, but what's nice about doing it like this is a person, place, or thing. You could have baggies for each one, right? Yeah, you can cut them up and make a prompt jar. It's however, guys. <laughs> oh, my God. Help me. Oh. <laughs> you could cut them up and make three baggies. The person baggie, the person, place, and things. You know, like that. <laughs> the owl in a telephone booth traveling under a waterfall. It could be, you know. Or the telephone booth could be under a waterfall with an owl in there. Okay. But the, the idea, guys, is to use your imagination. Just do some sketches. The owl is always on a cell phone, so now he's trapped under a waterfall as punishment in a phone booth. But try different things. Try to look at it outside the telephone box. Okay? Try to look at things outside the box. So, for instance, all right, so we have an owl. Let's just have this big owl, right? You could have an owl who could have um, his wings could be waterfalls. Okay? You could have waterfall wings. All right? He could be protecting a, one of those old-fashioned telephones, you know, like, like this one. <laughs> that we got out the other day. I'm uh, going to make a spreadsheet. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. You're going to make a spreadsheet, Murray. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. You guys cracked me up. <clears throat> she only went to 80 and her number was 81. <laughs> but here's the thing, guys. Do this. You know, just how this is what's good for a little sketchbook or even just a little one of the little uh, post it notes or one of the um, where's my little uh, these? You know, little, you know uh, well, I don't want you to go that small. You know, even a composition book, okay? A composition book is perfect. You know, you get them for 50 cents at Walmart or whatever. Anything, guys. It doesn't have to. It's whatever. The idea, though, is to write down and sketch. It's probably not best to do with a Sharpie, you know. Use a pencil or not that I don't want you to erase. I mean, or you can do whatever you want. You can do whatever you want. I'm just throwing some ideas out there. No, no, Sarah. <laughs> but, you know, let's, you know, you can just spend some time. Let's just say you had your owl, and I'm, you can't see it. Well, I'll have to do it in Sharpie for you guys. An owl, a waterfall, 
and a telephone. I think you get the idea. I really don't think I need to do this. I think you guys get the idea. But let's just say you had an owl, you have a waterfall, and you have a telephone. Where's my little telephone here? And let's just say you have one of these old tiny time tables. You can have whatever kind you have, a phone booth or whatever, right? So start with that. Start with something like this. But then don't just necessarily rely on just pictures. You could write things down. Okay? Whatever comes to you, what, an owl. This is kind of how you can mind map things. Okay? This is another, you know, you can mind map. We've talked about generating ideas from this before. Okay, so not only can you just only start with an owl, but you can do other things as well. Like you know that owls have feathers, they uh, hoot, you know, you can write down all the kind of owl characteristics that you can find. This is, I'm telling y'all what to do, you're not listening, you're not listening. <laughs> A waterfall, it could be like splashes, it could be over rocks. Uh, in the woods. You just continue us on. It rings. The fun, it has a funny ring. Old timey one. You could have a uh, you know the old telephone operators. Could be a pay phone. Anything has to do with a phone. Pay phone phone cords, cell phone. Think about how would it, if you, if you had to have a verbal app, let's just imagine you had to have a, have a verbal app instead of like you have a, a, a cell phone app, you, know, you see it. What if you didn't have pictures on your phone and you had to have a verbal app? I mean, just imagine. You have to use your imagination. It is like herding cats around here, Vicky. <laughs> Waiting for a bird to ring. <laughs> yeah, we need Vern here today. I'll tell you. Help me, Vern. Help me, Vern. Help me, Vern. Okay. I mean, the owl, he, there could be a, an arch. Because this is how, like, kind of the things I'll think up for my, um, my animal posters. So there could be an owl here, his wings, right? Could even be the waterfall with feathers. You could have feathers coming out like this. I know he looks funny, but, you know. <clears throat> I mean, you, you have to just play, guys. You can't, you can't, um, and he's mentally connected to that phone. <laughs> you, you just have to play. This, your ideas may look stupid, but it's how, it's how you get ideas. Is when you do stuff like this. It's just, you know, just mind mapping and generating ideas and that's just with three words and we can do well, I could fill this whole book up with just three words I'm telling you you can do it but most people just go I can't do that and just I can't do it they don't even try they can't they don't even try so when people I just I it, it it's like a pet peeve I don't have an imagination what that tells me is essentially you're lazy. <laughs> yeah, everybody's got an imagination. Yeah, you ain't using it. You got one. Okay? If you can get up in the morning and look in your closet and say, I think I want a blue shirt and a yellow pants and a pink whatever, you have imagination. Everybody has imagination. Ask Vern. Debbie goes, I'm just bored. I'm just lazy. Debbie Boring goes, I'm just lazy. <laughs> but what I'm saying, guys, okay. 
found you at. What I'm saying, guys, is if you want new ideas, if you want, you know, this is just, I mean, use any of the apps are around or, you know, your inspiration jar or anything. But you need to write it down yourself, okay? You need to use your imagination. You need to, you know, you could, and the, the other thing is, is you could take, all right, I'm going to randomly pick three colors, okay? I'm just going to. I'm just going to pick three colors here. Just, you can do the same thing with colors. We've done this before. We have done this before. Okay. Okay. You can do the same thing with colors if you're so inclined. I'm trying to help you guys with your ideas. I'm trying to be patient. I'm sure Vicky posted something hilarious right there that I can't see. You gotta watch out for Vicky BR's links though. Just saying. She'll lead you down a, a shopping path like there's no tomorrow. <laughs> uh, you have to use your imagination. Trust me, you start doing this and you will find, you'll go, oh my gosh, I really do have some imagination. Well, where's that been all my life? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Grass green. Come on, girls. I'm gonna I'm gonna let y'all go with it here. Tell me everything you can think of that that's that's grass green. <laughs> now SpongeBob would go under yellow. <laughs> <laughs> Imagination. Your fibs, your friends in the box. Remember, that's where SpongeBob found his imagination in the box. Just saying. You find your imagination in the box. Yes, grass green. Mojitos. <laughs> what are you doing today, Whippy? <laughs> <laughs> Spinach. Oh my gosh. Leaves. <laughs> Moss. <laughs> Frogs. See how it works, guys? See how it works. Guacamole. Well, guacamole is not quite that color, but we'll write it down. Got spinach. Your pizza that's in your refrigerator. <laughs> <laughs> good one. See, Judy, you'd probably write good stories. <laughs> Algae. <laughs> Ink well, homework done. Oh my gosh. Carrie posted some homework. A pepper. Yes, a pepper. Peppers. Banana pepper. Yeah. Incredible Hulk. See? There you go, Flint Rock. Incredible. My paint's still wet. I'm trying not to get my sleeve in it. Incredible Hulk. A green lantern. Peas. Emerald. <laughs> okay, stacks. Uh, yes, I saw, I heard a jade. Okay, jade. A bruise, aliens. While we're while I'm writing, I'm gonna look up. Well, there are probably some green. Let's see, I'm getting my sleeve in there. Caterpillar. I think I said emeralds. Did I get emeralds? Yeah. Let's see what Carrie posted. For the perusement of the fibs. Yeah, um, envy. That's a good one. <laughs> Her owl's got the telephone on his head, like for horns. Okay, let's see. <laughs> Look, it's got it's got horns of uh, of a telephone. That's actually that's pretty good there, Carrie. I like that. She has a telephone upside down with like it's the horns, and she had the cord coming out like that. <laughs> crocodile alligator okay a crocodile alligator a pickle 
See, look at you guys go. A gecko, yeah. Luck, Martians. Okay, luck, Martians. Okay, all right, so let's stop on the green. I'm running out of room. I'm not writing down snot, Lindsay, but thank you for that uh, contribution. <laughs> okay, yellow. Okay, so we got SpongeBob, sunflowers. <laughs> He's crying a waterfall. Oh, Carrie. Mr. Green Jeans Pants. Yeah. <laughs> I want a yellow. Want a yellow now. <laughs> I like that, Carrie. Yeah, Carrie had him crying a waterfall. You know how the kids will have their, you know, they'll do this on their face? You know. Yeah, he could be having his wing doing that, you know, doing the, doing the cry symbol. Okay, here we go. Lemons. <laughs> Banana. All right. Okay, Queenie, you and... Queenie, you and Whippy go to the corner. <laughs> Buttercup. <laughs> Some of these girls, they need to go in the corner. And, uh, yeah, we'll make sure Bandit doesn't let you... We'll make sure Bandit doesn't let you too close to the uh, mini bar. <laughs> Daffodil, egg yolk, <laughs> butter. See, you could fill a whole page. Lamplight. <laughs> hey, Bonnie. Don't ask, Bonnie. Don't ask. <laughs> no, I haven't drawn Bandit. I should have drawn him today, right? I've sketched him. Mustard. For those of y'all that don't know, that's Colleen's dog. He is the protector of the mini bar. <laughs> Yellow submarine, yeah. Sunshine. Bye, Paula. A baby duck. Okay, Lindsay, I'm ignoring you. A baby, a baby chick, a baby duck, or a chick. Okay, off with the yellow now. We're moving on. Yeah, everybody, just ignore Lindsay. She's she's in the corner with no graham crackers and milk. She has no graham crackers and milk today. Okay. Uh, now we're going on to um, hot pink. This is hot pink. It, it might not show up on camera, so yeah, hot pink. Squash, yeah, squash and a bee, yeah. I know there's a lag, guys. <laughs> okay. Yeah, the rubber ducky. All right. Hot pink, Lindsay. <laughs> I have hot pink post-its. Post-it notes. Lipstick and roses, yep. Yeah. Cheeks. Hot pink hair. Pigs. <laughs> what does Sherry say? Me. Yeah, that's right. Sherry Pink. Sherry Pink. That's her favorite. That's her color. Hot pink. Good one, Sherry. A tutu. Okay, we're going to go in just a minute, guys. Nail polish. This Your homework is everything we've done. Cotton candy. Well, that's kind of not really, but it could work. Yeah. Um, everything that we've done today is your homework. Just saying. Yeah, the troll hair. I know. I love troll hair. Lollipop. Lollipop. <laughs> of course, any art supply. Sharpies. 
you know, any of that. Highlighters, yeah, any kind of art supplies you're going to find colors in. Okay, yeah, and there are flowers that are pink. We said roses. I'll write down flowers. Okay. Your car. <laughs> shag rug. That's That would be a good one. Although I think the shag rugs of my day were like olive green. <laughs> or avocado. I think it was called avocado then. <laughs> So anyway, guys, all right, so we're going to stop. I just wanted to show you guys, look how many things we came up with for you to, and I could put Jazz's app out here too, for you to find mix-up ideas and make them your own. I'm telling you guys, even, it may not be something that you're going to use like right now, but if you start getting in the habit of writing down all this kind of stuff, just in a composition book or a three ring binder like I use, you will have so many ideas, you will never run out of an idea. I'm telling you. Yes, those are trolls, Margaret. Yeah, little trolls. Yeah, I don't think I have one around here. I used to have one. I think I gave it away. Yeah, the troll dolls. Yeah, let me show you. In case y'all forgot what troll dolls are. They're not trolls like we have here. I mean, we don't have them, but, you know. <laughs> Let me do it on the iPad because you'll be able to see it. But anyway, I hope you guys had fun just getting some ideas and, you know, whatnot. Okay, images. Oh, we have tons. These, the little troll dolls. Y'all know what these are. With the fuzzy hair. <laughs> oh, oh, good. Well, I'm glad y'all had some fun. <laughs> oh, hey, Trina, we're just getting ready to leave. <laughs> we're generating ideas. This was generating idea day. And, uh, yeah, we drew some dogs for us, you know, get us warmed up. But is there anything else, y'all? You know, all right, I know what, we'll do one more thing. We'll do one more thing. I want everybody to, let's write it down. Let's write it down. Everybody tell me what is your number one inspiration, inspiration to create. And I know we can all say, you know, we, we could say each other, you know, like I could watch, you know, one person on you, you know, YouTube, you know, could be one or, or you stream, but I want more specifics. Like, do you like, you know, feel like a, a sunny morning with a cup of coffee? What, what gets you inspired? What, what, in, you know, what, uh. What inspires you personally? I said you stream in YouTube because I know we all inspire each other. Okay, so Whippy said nature. At least she didn't say something disgusting. <laughs> Flowers, okay. Gardens, music. Color, definitely music, walking, <laughs> poems. Nobody's saying burn? We have to write down burn. Photographs, that's a good one, Carol Renee. Photos, memory boxes. A campfire, fantasy books, grandchildren and appreciation, appreciation, feeling down and you want to art and feel better. Fog at sunrise. That's a good one. P 
Pinterest. Yeah, any any online. We could just say online for, you know, Terry said words and numbers. Yeah, I like symbols. Symbology. I actually like games, too. I don't... I don't even know if Whippy's serious now. Okay, quotes. Whippy said cats. I, I'm not sure she's, you know. The ocean, yeah, Debbie. Holidays. Hobby Lobby. That's a good one. <laughs> good one, Vicky S. Coloring books, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Your art room. Mm-hmm. <laughs> join with the kids because they yeah because the kids have idea yeah kids art yeah your cats are funny okay whippy well after some of your other answers i wasn't quite sure <laughs> screensavers on photos yeah screensavers that's a good one but anything i mean i'm trying to avoid like d definitive things online you know but <laughs> Okay, guys. Well, anyway, my number one thing is writing it down. This right here is the most inspiring thing for me. Writing it down. <laughs> because once you start, uh, this is why, writing it down. Once you start, you will have tons and tons of stuff. This is what inspires me writing it down <laughs> boredom can get you motivated if you're bored you might want to work harder Okay, a fireball. Oh my gosh. All right, guys, I'm going to let you guys go. I just. <laughs> I don't know, guys. Here's the thing if you do this kind of thing, how can you be bored? You're too busy. You're too busy creating and thinking and idea generating to be bored. But, you know, and, and it's just so, it's like, you know, people go, how do you draw so well? Practice. Then the next day, you know, you really draw well. You are so talented. How did you get so good at drawing? Practice. Well, what do you do to get so good at art? Uh, 50 years of practice. So, yeah, um, so like what pencil do you use? Pencil? It's a practice. And it's the same thing with idea generating, guys. you got to write it down. I, I know it sounds like, well, what's the secret to inspiration and ideas? That's it. You write it down. <laughs> All right, guys. I'm going to let you go. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, don't send me your numbers. <laughs> okay, guys. So we'll see. We'll see you guys later. I, 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 Y'all wore me out today. Didn't they, Vern? <laughs>